interview one of our favorite new bands out there, the Mars Volta, and we were really psyched to shoot their show, but sadly that concert was the last live performance that included band member Jeremy Ward, who died of an overdose just two days later. The band pulled out of their opening slot on the Red Hot Chili Peppers Queens of the Stone Age tour almost immediately, and our heart goes out to them. But since their debut record is still coming out on June 24th, we thought that we'd take a look at the Mars Volta, the final chapter in a little saga that we call At the Drive-In. People went, what? What is this? I don't understand. You're supposed to be, you know, playing loud rock music. When the Mars Volta released their debut record, Deloused in the Comatorium, it'll be the final death knell for the late, great At The Drive-In, a band once hyped as the next Nirvana and an antidote to the heyday of boy bands and mook metal. Originally, ATDI's split was spun as a temporary hiatus, but what really happened? We have a deal in our band that the day one of us is tired of doing this, that's it. If it's in the middle of this interview or if it's in the middle of a tour, that's it, we're done. Well, it wasn't so much one of them as it was two of them. Two people quit. It doesn't matter how successful whatever band you're in. Like, if it's done, it's done. So one great band became two. Sparta, the decidedly non-Afro half of At The Drive-In, stayed close to the old band's emo roots. <laughs> While the Mars Volta went for something a little more experimental. At The Drive-In just wasn't what we wanted to do anymore, so... We were just bored of, of playing that music. It got really old and, and we were really limited. There was no room for improvising or for, or for growing technically or conceptually. So Yeah, basically they said we don't want to be in this band. And we all said, go. They were cool with it at first, but I think there's some hard feelings still. We all busted our ass for a long time for that band. And apparently bruised their friendship. Don't bank on an at the drive-in reunion anytime soon. It's like having a wife or a girlfriend that you break up with and kind of happens to them out of the blue. Yet, you know, there's those underlying problems that have been building up, so. I mean, I started at the drive-in when I was 17. Like, I always felt like I was 17 in that band. And it felt good to go, like, let that die. The Mars Volta have since returned to the road, and they're going to be capping out the end of those Chili Peppers Queens dates, which come to a close on June 21st, before they then head off to Europe and Japan.